Now, this is for determining whether a conic is a parabola circle or hyperbola or an ellipse by using um, this formula here. And so what you can do is look at um, this right here if b is 0. So we really don't use this. And when, what you notice with this formula is that we're looking at A and C. So if A equals C, it's a circle. If A doesn't equal C, but they have the si same sign, it's an ellipse. If A doesn't equal C, but they have opposite signs, then it's hyperbola. And if A equals zero or C equals zero, but not both, then it's a parabola. So this is what we're gonna be looking at. And when you look at that, let's look at see what we're really looking at here. We're looking at the coefficient in front of the y and the coefficient in front of the a. So this is just for looking at it, not graphing it or completing the square. So I have a few problems here. We have x squared. This is our, all we need to look at is this. We do not need to look at that or that. Technically, you should move the 7 over, I guess, but our A is 1, our B is 1. So A equals, oh, it's not B, it's C, sorry. Our C is 1, so A equals C, therefore it is a circle. Okay. Um, next one, our A is 5. Our B is negative 6. Well, it's not B, sorry. Keep wanting to call it B. Our C is negative 6. So we notice that A does not equal C. Now, if they have the same signs, it's an ellipse. But these signs are different. My A is positive and my C is negative. So that means it's a hyperbola. All right. Um, this case, I do have to rearrange this a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just rearrange the whole thing. So we have 3x squared plus 4y squared plus 8y minus 8 equals 0. Because that's your, your form here. My a is 3. My b is 4. Well, not b. Keep doing that. My C is 4. My A does not equal my C, but they're both positive. They have the same sign. That means it's an ellipse. All right? And in this case, I'm going to group things together. So I'm going to move. Um, I always put my X first because that goes with the A. So 4X squared plus 5y squared, I'll go ahead and move uh, 10 over, equals 0. My a is 4, my b is 5, uh, c is 5. Um, a does not equal c, however, they're both positive, so this is an ellipse. And this one, this is all set up for me. My A and my C don't equal. You notice we're not even looking at that. And my signs are both positive, so this is an ellipse. Um, parabolas are the easiest to find. What we have here is this equation. And you could say that this is uh, 3x squared uh, plus 0y squared. You notice we don't have a y squared. Sometimes it might not. It might be that you don't have an x squared. So I'm going to finish this up. And so my c equals 0. If one of these are 0 but not both, then this is called a parabola. 
And that is all. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye-bye.